Hello everyone, myself Sair Prasad, a lecturer in Ahlabad High School and the Junior College. Welcome to a series of the lectures of Intermediate First Year Maths B. We have started our discussion with a 3D coordinate system in our previous class, right? Today we are going to have our second exercise problems, right? What is the basic thing? We have started the formula of centroid of a triangle and the centroid of a tetrahedron in the previous session, right? Let us have few problems on those formulae, okay? Let us start. Here the question given here it is find the ratio in which xz plane divides the line joining a of minus 2 comma 3 comma 4 and b of 1 comma 2 comma 3. How to do? If it is in the 2D coordinate system, we used to use the section formula that is mx2 plus nx1 by m plus n, right? Similarly, we can even use the same formula or else we can directly write as now see here given two coordinates that is minus 2 comma 3 comma 4 and b is 1 comma 2 comma 3. He is telling that what is the ratio in which x z plane means what is the thing which means it is going to divide in the ratio of y 1 and y 2 right which means directly we can write ratio in x z plane is nothing but minus y 1 is to y 2. Therefore, here the ratio is minus 3 is to 2, right? That is a simple thing which we can remember or else you can even take the ratio formula that is section formula, right? Take the ratio as m1 is to m2, you can find out the same thing you will get. Is it clear? Let us move on to the next problem. See here, he is asking to find the coordinates of a vertex C of triangle ABC if centroid is origin and AB points are given, right? How many vertices do our triangle have? Our triangle consists of three vertices. Triangle has three vertices A, B, and C, and the centroid, right? Let us take centroid as G. What is the formula of a centroid? The formula of a centroid G of x comma y comma z is equal to x1 plus x2 plus x3 by 3, y1 plus y2 plus y3 by 3 and z1 plus z2 plus z3 by 3, right? Since we have 3 coordinates, automatically we will get the third coordinate, right? Now, see here, what did they give? They gave the centroid as origin, they gave the centroid as origin, right? What are the 3 points? First point is this, second point is this, which is x1, y1, z1, x1, y1, z1, here it is x2, y2, z2. Shall we substitute it? Let us do here 1 minus 2 plus x3 since we do not know that, right? Next 1 plus 4 plus y3. Here 1 plus 1 plus z3 whole divided by 3. Is it right? Uh, let us equate uh, each term. Okay. Let us equate this coordinate x coordinate to x coordinate, y coordinate to y coordinate, z coordinate to z coordinate. Okay. Let us equate coordinates, equate coordinates, right? What do we get? 0 is equal to this particular term that is 0 is equal to what is 1 minus 2 minus 1 plus x 3 divided by 3. From this we get minus 1 plus x 3 equal to 0, x 3 is equal to 1, is not it? Now, let us do for second coordinate that is 0 is equal to 1 plus 4 is 5 plus y 3 divided by 3, right? Let us send this 3 that is 3 0 is 0, it becomes 5 plus y 3 is equal to 0, y 3 is equal to minus 5, right? The third point again 0 is equal to 1 plus 1 plus that 3, that is 0 is equal to 2 plus z 3 divided by 3, 3 0 is 0, 2 plus z 3 is equal to 0, z 3 is equal to minus 2. Did we get the third vertex? That is third vertex c is equal to 1 comma minus 5 comma minus 2. Is it right? Is it okay? Clear? What did we do here? Here we are going to find the coordinates of vertex c, that is we have to find the third vertex where the two vertices are given and centroid is given. I know the formula of centroid that is x1 plus x2 plus x3 by 3, y1 plus y2 plus y3 by 3, z1 plus z2 plus z3 by 3, right? That is the coordinates, right? This is 3D, clear? 
Now let us have one more question like this. He gave three coordinates of tetrahedron and he gave the centroid of the tetrahedron. He is asking us to find the fourth vertex, right? Let us write what is the centroid of tetrahedron formula? Centroid of tetrahedron is x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 by 4, is not it? Is it right? Yes, comma y1 plus y2 plus y3 plus y4 divided by 4 and z1 plus z2 plus z3 plus z4 divided by 4, is not it? That is what we are going to find, right? Yes, let us see. What is the centroid given here? centroid given here it is 4 comma 2 comma 2 that is equal to here it is first second and third coordinates right here it is x1 y1 z1 x2 y2 z2 x3 y3 z3 shall we substitute let us do that here 3 plus 4 plus 6 x4 will be as it is is not it Next 2 plus 1 plus 2 plus y4 whole divided by 4, right? Z minus 1 plus 1 plus 5, minus 1 plus 1 plus 5 plus z4 whole divided by 4. Is it okay? Let us uh, simplify this first. 4 comma 2 comma 2 is equal to 3 plus 4 plus 6, 4 plus 6 is 10, 10 plus 3 is 13 plus x4 divided by 4, okay. Here 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 plus 2 is 5, 5 plus y4 divided by 4 comma minus 1 plus 1 get cancelled, left out is 5, 5 plus z4 divided by 4, right. Now let us equate coordinates, let us equate coordinates okay let us do that 4 is equal to this 4 is equal to 13 plus x4 divided by 4 okay the next 2 is equal to this 2 is equal to 5 plus y4 divided by 4 okay then next third coordinates 2 is equal to 5 plus z4 divided by 4 is it right now let us simplify it, okay. See here 4 4 is a 16 equal to 13 plus x4, here also 4 2 is a 8 equal to 5 plus y4, here 4 2 is a 8 equal to 5 plus z4, is it okay. Now let us bring this 13 this side, 16 minus 13 will be 3, right, that is x4 equal to 16 minus 13, that is x4 is 3. Similarly, y1 is 8 minus 5, therefore y1 is 3. Here also z4 is 8 minus 5, therefore z4, here also it is y4 equal to 3. Right now tell me what is the third or fourth vertex? Fourth vertex is nothing but fourth vertex is equal to 3 comma 3 comma 3. Is it clear? Did you understand? Right? Let us see the question again. If the first point, second point, third point are the three vertices of three vertices and there is the centroid of tetrahedron, then he is asking us to find the fourth vertex. Right? What is the formula we have to remember? We have to remember the formula of a centroid of a tetrahedron that is x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 by 4, y1 plus y2 plus y3 plus y4 by 4 z1 plus z2 plus z3 plus z4 by 4, right. We have three coordinates that is x1, x2, x3. Let us substitute it here, right. x4, let us keep it like that because we do not know fourth coordinate. Similarly, the second coordinate that is y1, y2 and y3, 2 plus 1 plus 2 and fourth coordinate is y4, right. And the third that is z1 plus z2 plus z3 which is minus 1 plus 1 plus y plus z4 whole divided by 4, right. After simplifying it, 3 plus 4 plus 6 is 13, 2 plus 1 plus 2 is 5, minus 1 plus 1 plus 5 is 5, okay. Now, we are going to equate the x to x, y to y and z to z coordinates. After simplifying it, I got the values of x4, y4 and z4. Is it clear? Again, what all formulas we learnt in this? We learnt about distance formula, 
midpoint formula, section formula and the next centroid of a triangle, centroid of a tetrahedron and we can remember the ratio directly here. If it is yz plane, right, if they give it as yz plane, what is the ratio? It will be minus x1 is to x2. If it is xy plane, it will be minus z1 is to z2, right, that is a basic uh, shortcut which you can remember or else you can even also use the section formula to find it, right. Is it clear? These are the basic uh, questions uh, of 3D. Tell me what the next problem. Now, uh, let us have one more problem on the centroid of tetrahedron or a triangle. Shall we do? Let us do now. Now, see here the question given here it is, he is asking us to find the tetrahedron of, of these four vertices A, B, C and D. Uh, we have seen the formula, right? What is the centroid formula? Centroid of tetrahedron is x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 by 4, y1 plus y2 plus y3 plus y4 by 4, z1 plus z2 plus z3 plus z4 by 4, is not it? Is it not the formula? Now, see here, what are the different coordinates here? x1, y1, z1, x2, y2, z2, x3, y3, z3, x4, y4, z4. Shall we substitute everything now? Let us do that. 2 minus 3 minus 1 plus 3 whole divided by 4, right. The next y coordinates 3 plus 3, 4 plus 5 whole divided by 4, right. The next z coordinates minus 4 minus 2. 2 and 1 whole divided by 4, right. We can directly simplify and write. See here, uh, minus 3 plus 3 get cancelled. 2 minus 1 is 1 by 4. Here 3 plus 3 is 6, 6 plus 4 is 10, 10 plus 5 is 15 by 4. Here minus 2 plus 2 get cancelled. 1 minus 4 is minus 3 divided by 4, right. There is nothing more than this to solve in this. Is it clear? Once again, he is asking us to find the centroid of a tetrahedron. He gave four coordinates, right? We will directly substitute in the formula of a centroid, is not it? Did you understand? Now, let us move on to the next problem. The question given here it is, he is asking us to find the fourth vertex of parallelogram whose consecutive vertices are given, that is F. This is a parallelogram A, B, C and D, right. He gave A as 2 comma 4 comma minus 1, B as 3, 6 minus 1, C as 4, 5, 1, D let us assume it to be x, y, z, okay. Then he is asking us to find that fourth vertex, right. What are the different properties of a parallelogram? What do we know? We know basic things that is either I mean these two are parallel, these two are parallel, right. Do we have any conditions in uh, 2D geometry or 3D geometry if they are parallel? Yes, we have if it is cos theta, if it is in 2D, if it is in 3D, do we have any cos theta? Till now we did not study such things, is not it, right. Then next, how to do, what are the different uh, properties? The distance of AB is equal to distance of BC, I mean CD. If we write in that, we will get equation in terms of x, y, z, but we will not get the values of x, y, z, right. And there is one more point you have to remember is in a parallelogram, the diagonals bisect each other, is it clear? Which means the midpoint of A, C is always equal to midpoint of B, D, right. We have discussed this kind of uh, things in our last uh, sessions also, I mean in straight lines, right. Let us write solution is in a parallelogram midpoint of AC is equal to midpoint of BD, is not it? How do we find the midpoint of AC here? A is 2, 4, minus 1. C is 4, 5, 1. Here 
b is 3 is x minus 1, d is x y z, right. What is the formula of midpoint? x 1 plus x 2 by 2, y 1 plus y 2 by 2, z 1 plus z 2 by 2, right. Let us uh, substitute in the formula 2 plus 4 by 2, 4 plus 5 by 2, minus 1 plus 1 by 2 that is equal to 3 plus x by 2 comma 6 plus y by 2 comma minus 1 plus z by 2. Is it, it what is that? Now, we have to equate x, y and z. Let us equate these both first. What is 2 plus 4? 2 plus 4 is 6 by 2 is equal to 3 plus x by 2 right. The next these both 4 plus 5 is 9 by 2 is equal to 6 plus y by 2 right. The next minus 1 plus 1 here it is 0 by 2 is equal to minus 1 plus z by 2 is not it. You can do in different different ways here 2 2 get cancelled 6 equal to 3 plus x here 2 2 get cancelled 9 plus 6 plus y 9 equal to 6 plus y here, even if you do not cancel 2 also 0 is equal to minus 1 plus z, is not it? Now, see here, what is x now? x is 6 minus 3, x is 3, y is 9 minus 6, y is 3. Here, if this comes this side, z is equal to 1. Therefore, which vertex? Fourth vertex of parallelogram is 3 comma 3 comma 1. Is it right? Did you understand? These are the basic uh, questions of uh, 3D geometry that is from where did we start? We have started with the introduction and explanation of 3 dimensional coordinate system right which are nothing but the rectangular coordinates x, y, z right. With the knowledge of 2D coordinate system we have started this chapter that is we have started with the formula of distance between two points, midpoint of a straight line, right, or else midpoint of two points, then section formula, then this uh, centroid formula, centroid of a triangle, center of a tetrahedron, right. Based on that, we have solved different different problems, right. Is it clear? Fine. This is for today. With this problems, we have completed the 3D coordinate system. Let us meet in the next session with a new chapter that is plane. Okay. Thank you.